question is the motion be agreed to. I call the member for right. I thank you, Madam Deputy Chair. Uh, no one, no one enjoys the uh, emotional task in, of, of having to sack someone. Uh, no one likes to be sacked. Uh, it is, a, it is, a, it is, a, it is a, an undertaking that I have had to do from time to time, being an employer uh, with over 105 staff, uh, permanent staff and contractors. But there is a reason it, it gets done, and hopefully, Madam Deputy Speaker, through the course of this overview, I will share those views with you from a Queensland perspective. Firstly, I'd like to speak a little bit about the overview of sun, sunfish and what Queenslanders, uh, what the state government in Queensland is doing to support sunfish. Sunfish puts itself forward as the peak recreational fishing organisation in Queensland. However, a recent statewide survey of recreational fishes in Queensland found that only 3 per cent of recreational fishes, of which there's 21,000 in Queensland, were actually affiliated uh, with the recreational fishing body. Uh, expenditure, expenditures on recreational fishing services for the 2012-2013 budget up there will still be in excess of $10 million for the year. $10 million. And they'll be broken down by um, to include compliance, surveillance and enforcement, including boat ram signage and community service announcements, in excess of $3.2 million. Uh, in addition to that, communication and education programs, including free handbook and recreational fishes, a half a million dollars. Uh, stock, uh, fish stocks and recovery programs, uh, pest fish education and marine habitat protection, $2 million. Research monitoring and reporting activities, $2.8 million dollars. Scientific assessment and policy development, $2 million. Campbell Newman and the state LMP team are not walking away. Yes, there are reductions. There are reductions because the state's running out of money, and I'll come to that. But in the process of these, this, these monies and jobs being wound back, not one person in Queensland who enjoys taking their kids or in their own entity going out and having a, a recreational fish will lose the right to go and have a fish. We've just wound back some. Of, we've had to pare back some of the funding up there across all all sectors of the community. The recreational fishing user fee contributes around 4.4 billion. And what that is is that uh, for everyone up in Queensland that owns a boat, part of their registration goes towards, um, which which is 4.4 billion dollars, goes towards this this service. Uh, these revenues continue to be allocated for the ongoing management of recreation fishing, with 75 per cent of SIPS's monies returning directly to the regional fishing stocking groups. Um, the spending demonstrates the government's continued commitment to recreational fishing, and it's additional to the $10 million uh, election commitment that will see this enhanced uh, at, for the, for the buy buybacks. I mentioned earlier in my opening comments that I was going to allude to you know, why some of these drastic uh, measures are being undertaken. And recently up there we had a Commission of Audit report, which I'll come to. And there were three, three eminent persons who sat on that board. Professor Sandra Harding, a Vice Chancellor and President of the James Cook University, um, educated at Australian National University, and 14 years worth of comprehensive experience. Uh, Mr. Doug McTaggart brings strong leadership to the Commission, having held various senior positions in the private and public sectors. He is currently the chairman for the Public Service Commission and a member of the Public Sectors uh, Renewal Board, uh, a member of the Council of the Australian Government's COAG Reform Council, and a councillor on the National Competition Council, and a director of the Suncorp Limited and UGL Limited. So these people are no deals when it comes to handling money. In addition to that, they had the Honourable Peter Costello, the Treasurer for the Commonwealth, for record term. And for more than a decade, Peter Costello was a Governor of the World Bank and the Asian Development Bank. He was also a member of the Committee of the International Monetary Fund and has been a Chairman of the uh, OECD Ministerial and APEC Financial Ministers and was involved in the establishment of the G20 after the Asian financial crisis and was the global chairman of the G20 in 2006. So you're making the assumption that some of these guys actually know a little bit about fiscal management. Bear with me and listen to what their report, their damning report of the previous Labor government's fiscal management of that state was and why today a motivated LNP government and Campbell Newman is having to make these tough decisions. Um, it, is, uh, it is disturbing to report that in recent years the government of Queensland embarked on unsustainable levels of spending which has jeopardised the financial position of this state. Queensland has moved from a position of considerable financial strength just six years ago today to today a position of weakness. 
Campbell Newman has a tough job ahead of him, and I applaud him. And if you want to help out Campbell, pop up and thank him for the work that he's doing in Queensland. Expired.